Probably revolving around mobility. So um, it'd be difficult to answer the question without including the word mobile. Um, last 10 years probably seen the most development in outdoor. So prior to that, it was still paper and paste like it had been for 100 years before. Uh, along came digital. So the ability to um, uh, post ads very quicker, uh, a lot quicker, um, post them in real time and um, start ad applying things like day park. Um, probably as an industry, we take a longer to make use of that. So we've still sort of clung on to, let's keep it up there for two weeks, for, for a little bit too long. Um, but I think as we step forward now, we're starting to understand the environment better. I'm starting to understand how we can capture people's attention by putting relevant ads in front of them at relevant moments. Um, I'd say the future is, is going to be based around how we can start using mobile a little bit more intelligently. Um, not necessarily... Um, what everyone would naturally think about, you know, we're going to try and latch ourselves onto it. It's clearly a very growing, very exciting part of the industry. But it's more about how you use the mobile, how you use mobility, and how you use frame of mind to really generate the, the sort of correct in, in, interaction with the customer. So um, for us, it's probably split into two parts. Part of it is about understanding people's behavior when they're out of home. So um, apart from putting a poster outside, say, a store, it's been very hard for advertising in the outdoor arena to be able to prove that it's actually influencing people's behaviour. And we've almost been reliant on other media to be able to do that job for us. And what, what's happening now is the fact that the existence of a mobile phone that we generally always carry around with us, we're better able to understand people's behaviour as a result of seeing posters. So that could be probably, at the moment, a couple of different areas. One of them would be geofencing. So when someone has a mobile phone with, on them, and they suddenly within the area of the poster, it's then sending some sort of data that to that, to that phone to say, you know, are you in the area? Have you seen a poster? I'm trying to get them to interact in it. So you're using the poster and you're using the mobile in order to almost like a dual communication. Um, and then also maybe just straight box standard research. So for a number of years, we've, tried, we've relied on some piece of research at a later date, and hoping people would say, yes, I saw a poster and it's made me feel the following, or it's made me act in the following way. Um, whereas now you can start putting um, creative onto a phone, paying people um, to tell us what they thought when they were out, out and about seeing a poster. So it's kind of like things like smartphone apps. So you know, you're identifying a potential audience um, and you're saying to that audience, when you're out, when, when, you, when you see the poster, we want you to let us know so we know where they are. We often know the frame of mind, what they're about to do or what they're in the process of doing. And then the advertiser gets the opportunity to start questioning them in broadly real time. So what do you think about creative? You know, what, um, what do you think of the you know, particular campaign? Has it made you feel differently about it as a brand? So the idea of mobile um, in terms of capturing data and understanding how people behave has really, really evolved um, over the last couple of years. And then the other side is just the search. It's kind of natural. We are now more mobile. We're more in tune with what we can do on a mobile phone. And as a result of seeing, it doesn't even have to be a poster, as a result of what we connect with when we're out of home, we've become more likely to then look at that. So. The idea of putting content onto onto a poster or onto a screen, and then hoping in some way someone that's, that's going to be an opening to you know a path onto our phone, um, um, is bec becoming more relevant in our industry, um, and we're getting better better placed um, to be able to understand how that happens. We, I guess we kind of rely on, on a lot of people bringing information back into the company. Um, one person in particular, Mungo, would be someone who we use a lot. So um, he's a naturally curious guy. He looks at the world in a very different way, probably to most people who naturally sit within media, especially on the sales side. Um, and so he, he's out there, you know, a lot of the time trying to understand what's the next sort of, you know, what's the next um, sort of development that's going to start influencing the way that we can. Um, a lot of the time research, what talks about you know, geofencing and sort of smartphone research is primarily come from Mungo, but also in terms of you know, what, what's the future in terms of being able to post. So digital has been an obvious one. You know, we've gone from posting in, you know, re, um, posting in a traditional way, taking days to get it up and days to get it down, and, and now it's digital. So it would be understanding or trying to evaluate what's going to happen around the corner. So you know, I think we're kind of watching with relative interest about what happens with Google Glasses. So, you know, will we in a few years' time be creating ads that if you're walking down the street and you look at a poster, you see one thing, but if you're walking down the street and you've got a pair of Google Glasses, you see something completely different. So the idea of personalization of advertising is obviously nothing new. In our world, it's still a broadcast medium. Um, 
the idea of personalizing an advert tends to be something which was sort of more place based. So I understand what frame of mind you're in and I kind of know what time of the day it is. So I'm going to deliver a poster which might feel more appropriate. But if you pair a pair, put a pair of glasses on, it's very personal to you. So who knows? It's like the idea of Blipper when you, know, you can hold your phone up to something um, and you see something a bit more interactive or a bit more creative. But actually, if you put a pair of glasses on, is that, does that poster that become about you? And it's talking specifically to you because it knows who you are. It's always a bit of a struggle. Um, you're kind of asking people who need to hit deadlines, who need to work to every two weeks, um, who have advertiser briefs to respond to, to kind of take themselves out of that particular frame of mind and then suddenly put themselves in a position where they're creative. Um, uh, we're trying to create space, so I encourage people to take, away, take a step away from their desk. Um, I'm not sure if I'd say this, but we have, we have a, there's a, there's a, um, uh, not motto, so you know, we have a process, so when we take a brief in, you're not allowed to respond immediately. You have to go away, we have to go into groups, we have to brainstorm it. Um, we start to try and bring the target audience in, so we'll get a group of people. Media people tend to be of a certain age, a certain frame of mind. We all live in London, so our view of the world tends to be quite narrow. So what we try and do is get people who the, the advertiser is trying to target. So expensive cars, we'd probably speak to the board. So we get them to brainstorm the brand, and we get them to brainstorm the competition, and we get to, to get them to start giving some ideas about, you know, in their world, you know, how would they want an advertiser to communicate to them, and how best do you think, you know, we should be approaching it in order to be received well. I work in the traditional media. You know, we're doing some very clever work. Excuse me. Um, and you know, the, the the speed of change over the last ten years has been, you know, if you take took, took a step back and looked at it, quite frightening. Um, the speed of change outside of posters has been you know, terrifying at times. So it's really important for, uh, I think, most people in media to want to go and educate themselves and to learn and find out what's coming around the corner. <laughs>